Grapes originated in temperate regions of Europe, then spread to other continental regions. Today, 72 million tons of grapes are grown each year worldwide, mainly for wine production. Each year, 7.2 trillion gallons of wine are produced. Grapes are also a popular fresh food. The nutrients in grapes provide a number of possible health benefits, making this fruit very popular. Join us to explore the process of growing, harvesting, and processing millions of grapevines right away. Planting and care. Grapes grow and develop well on alluvial soil, rich in nutrients and well-drained. The appropriate pH for grapes is 6.5 to 7. The important condition that determines grape growing is the climate. The grape growing area needs to have dry climate conditions, low air humidity, and little rainfall. And to create a grape farm, we need to follow these steps. Step 1. Choose a variety. Step 2. Prepare the soil. Step 3. Plant trees. Step 4. Make a truss. Step 5. Care. Includes watering, fertilizing, and pest treatment. Step 6. Harvest. Nowadays, you can buy seedlings at nurseries or propagate them yourself. There are many methods to propagate grapes, but the simplest and most effective is stem cuttings. First, choose a grape branch that is 4 to 12 months old, has turned wood with a diameter of about 0.8 centimeters, and has 3 to 5 nodes. Next, make a 45 degree cut at the top of the branch and close to the tree node. The lower part is cut horizontally and the wing of the tree is 2 centimeters. After that, apply paint, tie them into bundles, and soak them in a stimulating solution to make them easier to remove. We should take cuttings in the spring by inserting the treated grape branches into potting soil to a depth of about one-third of the branch's length. Then, take care of them until they grow into a seedling. This process will take about three months when the tree has grown strong enough to be planted. Soil preparation is an important step in growing grapes. Good, fertile soil will greatly support the growth and development of grapevines. Therefore, before being put into use, the land should be plowed so that the soil is loose, then create soil holes with dimensions of 40 by 40 centimeters, and the distance between the holes is 1.5 meters. The distance between rows of trees is from 2.8 meters. You can add a moderate amount of organic fertilizer to increase nutrients and then plant seedlings. Normally, when you buy grapevines, you will see grafted eyes near the base. When planting, you should leave the grafted stem above the ground so that the vine can develop best. This is considered one of the extremely important technical secrets of growing grapes. The characteristic of grape plants is that they need to climb a trellis, so after planting, it is necessary to build a trellis for the grapes. The height of the trellis is about 1.8 to 2 meters for ease of movement and care. Each vine needs a trellis stake so the vine can climb. This can be a wooden or iron stake. Next, use a wire with a diameter of 1.5 to 2 millimeters to stretch from one pillar to the other to form a square with a size of 25 to 30 centimeters. Then, fix the grape branches on the prepared trellis. After planting, the grapevine needs to be cared for so that it can grow well and quickly produce flowers and fruit. Grapes should be watered regularly in the first year, about once a week. Water the roots directly, do not miss the vines. The most commonly used irrigation method today for grapes is drip irrigation. Grapevine fertilizer needs will depend on the type of grape variety and stage of the plant. The most reasonable time to fertilize is in the spring when the grapevine is mature and capable of producing a sufficient quantity of fruit and good quality. Pruning is very important. When the top of the main stem has climbed 20 to 30 centimeters above the trellis, cut off the main stem on the underside of the trellis. The vine will grow many new branches. 
Each vine only leaves two to four branches depending on variety and care conditions. These branches are arranged so that they are evenly distributed in all directions. When the branch is about 0.8 to 1 meter long, cut the top so that the branch grows small branches. This process will help balance the growth of the tree, creating better conditions for fruit production and fruit nourishment. Harvest. April to May is the flowering period. This period lasts from 10 to 14 days before it begins to bear fruit. By August, the grapes begin to change color and from sour to sweet with a characteristic aroma. And the harvest will take place in September to October. Normally, grapes are harvested manually. Use specialized pruning shears, then cut into the grape stem at a distance of four to five centimeters from the grape cluster. Remember to handle gently to avoid damage or loss of fruit. Then, put the grapes in containers and take them to the processing factory. In addition, we can also harvest grapes by machine. However, this method is used exclusively for winemaking varieties. Sophisticated machines move through rows of vineyards and use rubber or other materials to shake the grapes down a conveyor belt. After collection, impurities are removed using a series of mesh layers and finally, the grapes are collected into a special container. They are then immediately transported to the winery. Factory. After receiving grapes from the farms, depending on the grape varieties, the factory will have appropriate pre-processing and processing methods for them. Some will be cleaned, packaged, and then shipped to consumers. Some can be processed into juice, jams, or dried grapes. And there is a separate grape variety used to make wine. Regardless of any product, when brought to the market, they are attractive and attract most diners because of the taste and benefits that this fruit brings. Value. Grapes are a rich source of vitamins and minerals and possess flavonoid antioxidants, so they have a significant effect in reducing the harmful effects of free radicals as well as repelling the aging process. Some health benefits of grapes include improving bone and joint health, preventing heart disease, and effectively treating migraines. That's the end of today's video. What do you think about today's topic? Please comment below to let us know. If you are passionate about exploring, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel so you can watch all the interesting and exciting videos ahead. And now, goodbye and see you again in the next video.